the corner, the Yellow Jackets hosting Oak Grove in a 4A Region 5 battle. A defensive struggle in the first half. Tigers only passed three times in the first half. This will result in a sack. Riley Harmon taken down by a swarm of Yellow Jackets. Now, the Jackets offense not much better in the first half, but anytime you can get the ball to Gavin Brown, that usually works for corner. Great job breaking tackles. And now the lone big play of the half. Gavin Brown is going to find a crease and he'll break one. 72 yards to the house. The best player on the field for corner was big tonight and corner wins it 20 to 12. Now let's go to 7A Region 3 where Adam Weingarten has Tuscaloosa County 5-1 for the first time since 2013. But tonight the 7th ranked Wildcats were 3rd ranked Hoover. Hoover without their starting quarterback Phillip Smith. Uh, Buccaneers to Corey Hayes. Cuts it up the field toward the pylon, scores to give Hoover a 7-0 lead. Then late in the second quarter, the Buccaneers will mishandle the snap. The Wildcats Eli Herndon will fall on it, and that will lead to a county-high field goal. In the third quarter, a run up the middle by the running back, Lamarian McCammon. And he'll turn his body, and he'll fight forward for a gain of 13, and that led to Moore McCammon taking the ball into the gap, fighting, lunging for a Buccaneer touchdown, putting Hoover up 17-6. Hoover wins at 31-13, Bucks 7-1, 5-0 in region play. Also in 7A Region 3, the Stadia Hills at Hewitt Trustville, both 2-2 two two in region play, so a big game. First quarter, the Rebs John Paul Head with the Tebow action finds Lane Wisenhunt in the end zone, but Stadia up 7-0. Later in the first, Head with the play action, then connects with Warren Ainsworth, with nice footwork to stay in bounds, dives in for the score. The Stavey up 16 to nothing. But the Huskies come alive later in the first. Peyton Floyd looking for someone, but decides to take it in himself for six. Trustville on the board 16-7. And the Trustville D wakes up. As Head will get the ball knocked out. A Moore comes up with the recovery. And that would set up this run from Floyd who will cut to the outside, run over a defender to find his way into the end zone. A wild game tonight, but Hewitt Trustful wins it 45-37 the final. Last night, Thompson stayed unbeaten in region play by dominating Oak Mountain. The Warriors held the Eagles to 69 yards. They had three pick sixes. And the offense rolled up 311 total yards. They led 34-0 after the first quarter, wound up winning 51-0, and that is six wins in a row for the second ranked Warriors. To the 6A Region 5 race where Gardendale and Mountain Brook are the only unbeatens. The Rockets a big hurdle at minor tonight. The tenacious Tigers 2-1 and one in region play. Tyler Nelson completely took over this game in the second half. Finds the goal line there. 17-7 Rockets. Very next possession. Nelson looking to throw. Doesn't see anything he likes and he loves to run. And he is gone again, his third touchdown of the night. But Miner wasn't just going to roll over. Down by three scores, they go to the air. Kareem Key uh, going for the home run ball. Connects with Darian Jackson, and the big six foot four junior has it for the Miner TD. 24 14 now the Gardendale lead. And after a Miner squib kick, Brian Gilmore takes it in to make it 31 14. Gardendale wins it 34 14. Here are Tyler Nelson and Coach Chad Eads. We came back out. It was, it was all about respect. They've been a lot of people been disrespecting us. We got a res revenge tour. Ain't nothing like ain't nothing like scoring. It's a it's a team game, you know. All 11 guys helping the store. He's spectacular right here on the field. He's also spectacular in our in our community and school. So I'm, I'm I'm very proud of that. But you know, it's it's just great to have him. He's such a leader. He's a tough guy, and he's uh, he can take a bad play and turn it into a good play in a hurry. You know, and uh, you know, and he and he stays the same kid whether it's going good or going bad. So I'm very proud of him. Now, meanwhile, the Mountain Brook Spartans last night went to Parker and handled the thundering herd 35 to 6. The Spartans pretty balanced, 203 rushing yards, 176 through the air. And John Colvin connects with Clark Sanderson for this TD. That's 16 straight region wins for the Spartans since they made the move from 7A to 6A in 2020. The 6A Region 6 would go now where Clay Chalkville is king, but Pinson Valley is in the royal family. The Indians rank seventh in the state. Tonight, the Indians were at center point. The Eagles nest. Center point like Pinson, one loss in region play. Eagles up 23-7 in the second half of the Indians driving. Kiwan Posey dump pass to Taurus Chambers. 
He's inside the 10. And then Cameron Jennings with a dart to Amari Thomas. Indians make it 23 to 15. Now in the fourth, the Eagles. Jabari Collier with a play action. Finds Harold Hallman up the middle. Huge gain inside the five. Then later on the drive, Troy Bruce with a handoff. Cuts to the outside. Runs in for the score. Center point. Wins 29-22 and with the win, punches a ticket to the playoffs. Here's center point coach George Bates after the game. This is big, man. For so long, we've been like a little brother on the east side. You know, and we just said this year you're going to be able to count, you're going to be able to rank because they're about to play each other. So we knew for us to be to have respect on this east side is great ball. We we're going to have to beat one of the big two, which is Clay and Pinson. We went down to Clay and we beat Pinson at home. Our word of the week did we were considered it, and that meant we want more. We weren't satisfied with just making the playoff. We want more. Oh, it's great, man, because at the end of the day, we're seven minutes away. And these kids here all the time. We can't compete in season. We can't keep it competing in season. Not only did we make the playoff, but now we're improving the season. We win in two weeks. We'll host a playoff game. Congratulations to George and the guys. Coming up next on the Blitz, we go to the Gopher Hole, where Hubytown was hosting McAdory in a big 6A Region 4 game. And neighborhood rivals Pleasant Grove and Fairfield went at it in the Friday Night Rivals Game of the Week. Highlights and post-game reaction coming up. Welcome back to the show. 6A Region 4 game. McAdory taking on Hueytown tonight, both with one loss in the region. Second quarter, McAdory down 13-7. The Yellow Jackets' Peyton Ryans breaks loose. He'll go 37 yards, and that sets the Jackets up in the red zone, where Roderick Thomas would take it from there. He'd punch it in from a yard out, and McAdory goes up 14-13. Third quarter, after a McAdory pick, Jacob Clopton will give to Roderick Thomas again. He'll take it 23 yards this time for the touchdown. But Hueytown, that's a never-say-die team. They come back and beat McAdory 32-27. Fairfield lost 27-25 to Pleasant Grove last season and after the season. Lost their quarterback, Eric Hanley, and his dad, head coach Keon Hanley. They both went to Pleasant Grove. Tonight, the Tigers hosting Pleasant Grove in a 5A Region 5 game. Last play of the first quarter, Eric Hanley to Aaron Tift, and the Spartans were up 13 to nothing. Now in the second quarter, Hanley and the Spartans were backed up, and this pass is going to be tipped and picked by Fairfield's Brian Cook Jr., who makes a nice return inside the five. But the Spartans would keep Fairfield out of the end zone with the goal line stand. That was huge. It was 13-0 at the half. Third quarter, offense turns it up. Hanley, 42-yard beauty of a throw. DJ Lavender at the one. That led to a Hanley sneak to make it 21-0. Then another TD drive in the third, powered by freshman Jordan Smith, who goes 32 yards down to the Fairfield 30. Smith with five carries for 58 yards on the drive, which he finishes. Spartans win 35 to nothing. Here's Jamie Hale with Coach Daryl LeBeau. It feels good to get a win in this region. Uh, you know, despite it being a shutout or not, you know, we, we struggled a little bit earlier in the uh, first half on offense. But, you know, to get a, to get a win in this region is, is always good. No matter if it's by one or half a point, I'll take any of them. The biggest story on this field is that defensive effort from your team. Uh, definitely. They've been playing fast and been playing hard all year, and they've been putting the work in since the summertime. And, you know, sometimes when we, we trying to figure it out, you know, they hold us up, and they definitely did that tonight. Last night, the Pelham Panthers pounced on Benjamin Russell, forcing four turnovers. Last week, they turned over Calera six times. Ten turnovers in two games for that Panther D. The Panthers win it 30-20. to They're 4-3 overall, 3-1 and one in 6A Region 3. Next week, they host Homewood. Well, a shocker in 6A Region 3. Calera beat Briarwood 31-28 in triple overtime. That does major damage to Briarwood's playoff hopes. The Hillcrest Patriots hosting Bessemer City in a 6A Region 4 game. A lot of Ethan Crawford fans in the house. Crawford dumps it off to Jamarian Johnson, who'll take it 14 yards for the touchdown. Then after a Purple Tigers fumble, Crawford finds tight end Jackson Henderson in the end zone. And now here's Johnson on the handoff, and he'll score again, and it's 20 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter, DeCorian Thompson will make an acrobatic catch in the corner of the end zone. Uh, backup quarterback Bryson Kimbrough also came in and joined in the fun. He'll find Jameson early for another Patriots touchdown, and Hillcrest wins easily 47-16. Coming up on the Blitz, a sneak peek at next week's Game of the Week. 
Next week, we're taking the Friday Night Rivals Game of the Week to the land of the Valley Cubs. Alexandria hosting the Southside Gaston Panthers in a 5A Region 6 game. Kickoff 7 o'clock on My 68 right after Blitz Game Day. Last night on My 68, we got a good look at the second-ranked team in 3A, the Gordo Green Wave, who rolled over rival Fayette County 35-0. Brax Garrison was really good. Four touchdowns on the night for the Wave quarterback. And on defense, Max Stevenson got a pick. And man, he just nearly got a pick six. He gets knocked out of bounds at the Fayette County one. That led to another Garrison TD. Gordo plays at Oakman next week to try to win that region title. Also out west tonight, North Ridge with a, another win, 55-0. They beat the Central Tuscaloosa Falcons. That's our show for tonight. Thanks for watching. Jimmy Kimmel is up next. Our next news is tomorrow night at 6 on CW21 or anytime on the ABC 3340 app. Have a great night, everybody.